Oh. Hey. Uh welcome back to Little Big Planet. Um as you can see it's been a really long time since I've actually touched this game. <laughs> um Yeah. I figured I would start playing this again just because I wanted to play it again. So um yeah. I don't know. Um I have a lot of things that I have to share. One of which uh is very important to me. Also, I don't remember what the volume was for this originally, so I'm just going to turn that bad boy up to 45. Nice. All right, all right. Once this cutscene is over, I'll get to the the really good important stuff that I want to talk about. Oh yeah, I remember, because we fought something, and uh, we fought those things, and he freaking blew up. Oh? Uh... Quick! A negative from Diablo attacks us from the sky! You must help me. The minis are already finding their way into the chakras of my tree. Oh my gosh. Is that That's Pac-Man. It is the worst. The auras of the asylum cannot resist their negativitron forever. The tree and the patients, they need me. They are nothing without my care, without my love. All right. Well, we're just here for Dr. Riggedbotham. Oh, gracias a Dios. Now there is a man who needs help. He's eaten everything. Oh. He sucks. He keeps trying to lick his own eyes. And now, now this. You'll have to help me first if you want him. It will make you so warm and glowy. Not cold, gloomy, and dead inside. Oh, I <laughs> promise you that, calendar man. He does look like a calendar man. Like a like a calendar person thing or whatever. Huh. Spanish people mumbling is just very weird to listen to. <laughs> okay. Nice. Come on. All right, so, um, let's see. I have some very, very good news. The, the person that might be watching this might know what I'm talking about because I'm talking about her, or, yeah, her in speci specifically. Um, of course, I'm not going to mention her name because that's just rude and I don't, I'm not the type of guy to do that. Is there a secret? Nope. Okay, um, but yeah, um, right now it is July 11th, so tomorrow, will, the day that this goes up. Oh my god, what am I, what even is this? But yeah, um, this person, um, I have known for years, I, um... Finally got to hang out with her during the 4th of July little carnival thing that was in our town. <laughs> and, um, we, we got to do a lot. We hung out for hours and had a good time. I don't want to just talk about, like, everything that went on because it's a little, I don't know, a little boring. But, like, I mean, I didn't find it boring. Of course, I found it, like, amazing hanging out with her but um so uh she happened to be like one of my first kisses and uh i'm not gonna lie i was it it mm, it makes me so warm and like freaking love i'd love it but i don't know i want to 
she says that she wants to come over on Friday to watch some Dragon Ball Z, and I've, of course I'm like freaking out because I am a big Dragon Ball Z fanatic. I I want I want to watch it with her, but the thing is I don't understand what's going on because I've I've texted her a few times to try to talk to her, but nothing yet. I I I don't know if her phone's died or if she's like ghosting me, and I really hope that she's not ghosting me. I that's what people told me, and I'm I've had it stuck in my head for the past two days, and I don't want to believe them because I really like this girl. I really do. I love everything about her. She's freaking awesome. It's just, I don't know. I, I, every time I talk about her, I my head, my body gets all warm and I, I start freaking out. It, I don't know. I told my parents and they were, they were both freaking out. They are like, oh my god, you actually did it. Also, that was a very quick level. Anything over here? No, okay. So yeah, um... I, I asked her if uh, we would date at some point, and she says, I, from what I remember, I think she wanted to, but the thing is, she like got out of a relationship after like a, like a really long relationship. So... I don't want to step into the, the middle of her, like, recovery stage or something. Because I, I, don't, I just don't want to do that. And, <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I, I hope that she's watching this right now. Um, I mean, I know she probably will because she loves my videos. Uh, actually, hold on. What are you doing watching my video? You should be over at my house watching some Dragon Ball Z. And, I don't know, I don't want to be rude, but please fix your phone. <laughs> okay, I can be brave. No, he can't. Oh my goodness. Do I have apple? I might have apple. I don't have apple, do I? That's not her. I thought I got a text from her, but I didn't. Yeah, every day I'd go to work and I would think just that she would be constantly on my mind and I can't get her out of my mind. It's it's something that I I haven't felt in a very long time. <laughs> and I'm just worried that if I like act the way I did towards those other girls back when I used to just like them and we nothing ever happened from it I feel like I would like drive her away from just me being I don't know just too I don't know how to say it but I just don't want that feeling to go away and I don't want her to think like I'm too desperate or something Which I mean, am I really though? <laughs> I've never had a girlfriend. I've, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just a very, very, I don't know. I, I was very bummed out the night before because um, I asked her to go to the movies, but she just never responded and I was, I just thought, oh, she might be busy or something. Um, and she told me right after that she um, would have much rather gone with me, which I entirely believe. <laughs> um, at least th that's what I remember, at least. But, um... Oh, come on. So, she went with this person that was, like, one of her friends that she hasn't seen in a while. So I was just like, oh, at least you got to see your friend trying to be nice and everything. But my parents were there and they're just like, oh, do you like Chloe? Ugh. Do you like this girl? And I'm just like, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and then, 
We managed to um, we managed to hang out on Sunday, and that's that's when everything happened, and it just it, it just felt like it's been building up to that because I've known her for years. She used to be on my swim team, although I don't remember much of like back then since I it was years ago. Um, let's see what happened. I jumped and tried to make it, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, she used to be on our swim team, and I didn't think of it much back then, but I honestly probably did at some point have a crush on her because it's she's freaking amazing. Um, what, was, what else? And then... Um, let's see. It wasn't until high school when she came back to our school and I was, I just was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, you're finally at more, like at our, at our, at our high school. And I was, I was just so, so happy. We were in two classes together, one of which I sat next to her. And we just kept being good friends from there. I'm glad that things sort of blossomed the way they did in like an unexpected but amazing way. I mean, things would just have to go slow at first cuz, you know, I don't actually I don't know. I don't know. It's it's stressing me out because I want to, I just want to keep talking to her, but she hasn't texted me back at all, and I'm just, I don't know, freaking out. I spent this entire episode just talking about this one girl, and I bet that she would appreciate it so much. <laughs> An episode just dedicated to her. I even said to her that I wanted to do a gameplay session with her. like the game grim style so that's something I want to do oh okay oh no also I, I kind of like this music Oh? I don't know, but she's just a freaking amazing person that I I want to be around all the time, I feel like. I don't, I don't know. She... <laughs> I like her a lot, and it's something I haven't been able to say about someone in a very long time without it, like, being said back to me. Because there was this one girl that I used to like, but then she wasn't exactly the nicest person to me. I feel like I've mentioned her several times, but... It wasn't until, like, this past weekend that everything sort of changed for me. In, like, a very good way, of course. Oh. I don't know how to get past this. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, then. So please, you know who you are, can you please just, just, I don't know, somehow fix your phone or fix the setting that makes it so then that you can text back. Cause, cause I, I, I don't know, I've sent a few texts and most of them are just like, I don't really want to spam 
but at the same time, I really want to talk to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But it was a very good, unexpected night that I had on uh, Sunday. Because it was the very end of... Uh, oh. Uh, what was it? It was the very end of the 4th of July, like, Heritage Days thing that they have down in uh, where I live. It's like a whole, like... Uh, what is it? Um... Let's see, it's a whole sort of like carnival thing that they've got in town. I think I just completed like three levels this episode. Nice. Nah, I think I learned two. I don't know, um... This, this face is my reaction to whenever I see her. Just, 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 just freaking out. That's me. Every single time I see her, it just... It just warms my heart. It makes me happy. Actually, I just completed two levels. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, well, um... I'm gonna call this an episode. I probably will just leave this episode to... Uh, the one that I like. And the next episode, I might talk about other stuff. If not, then, um, enjoy the, uh, <laughs> enjoy my talk about my, my friend that I, I really like. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next episode.